Hey guys, uh, welcome to this uh, video lecture. Uh, today we are going to do uh, you know the countries and the capitals that are located in South America, and uh, so I decided to do the countries and the capitals together because you know South America has a fewer number of countries, and also the structure is streamlined in a way which makes it pretty easy for us to. Uh, do both of them together. So I've taken this uh, unlabeled map here. And I'm also going to start marking all the capitals so that you know you always know where they are located. So I'll we'll start off with this first one here. Then we have the capital here. Then we okay. And uh, you you know you'll also see a very unique thing about uh, about South America is that there are two countries which are pretty large in 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 shape. So Brazil and Argentina and rest of the countries are you know considerably smaller you can sort of also divide the entire continent into uh, four uh, you know like structural areas which sort of helps you also to remember uh, the countries in a, in a much easier uh, manner right so all right so I'm almost done with uh, with marking all the uh, capitals right okay so I think it's done yes so what I'll do is I'll you know I'll make these lines which will just help us uh, divide all the, uh, the the continent into four structural parts this is part one which has three uh, you know small countries uh, located on on sort of the uh, north uh, absolute north of the of the uh, continent then we'll mark uh, these uh, countries here it sort of marks the northwestern part of, uh, of uh, South America and then we will take uh, these two countries here which are landlocked and these are the only two countries which are you know surrounded by land on all sides and then we have this major part of, of South America so let's start off this with the northwestern part of South America and which is sort of connected to you know here it's connected to, to Panama which is in North America and that's the only link that that is there between North America and South America all right, to start off with the first country, a uh, first country here um, in, in order, uh, starting from, you know, the extreme right is Venezuela, right? And the capital of Venezuela is Caracas, right? After Venezuela, the next country in the same order is Colombia, right? So this is C-O-L-O-M-B-I-A, Colombia and the Colombia's uh, uh, capital is Bogota right after Colombia the next country in order which is slightly smaller in shape is Ecuador Ecuador and its capital is Quito right and following Ecuador the last country in this set of uh, in this region that we have uh, marked is Peru with its capital at Lima Okay, after this, uh, we'll take up the two landlocked countries. Uh, so the first landlocked country, which is larger in, in shape, is uh, Bolivia. And, you know, it's, it's also a very interesting study to read about the history of Bolivia, which was, uh, you know, sort of founded by Simon Bolivar, uh, a huge, uh, you know, like uh, sort of the father of the nation of, of Bolivia. And uh, so after Bolivia, the second country, uh, you know, in, in this landlocked area is Paraguay right and paraguay's capital is asuncion a s u n c i o n right so bolivia and paraguay are the landlocked countries following these we'll uh, come to these these three small countries you know and quickly cover them uh, not much to remember here the first country here in order is uh, it's guiana right and its capital is georgetown Right. Following Guiana, the next country here is Suriname and it has, it has its capital at, at Paramaribo, which is sort of, you know, a Dutch name uh, once you start researching a bit about it. And the last country in this lot is French, uh, so you uh, you know so you can basically call it French Guinea, and it has capital at Cain, uh, which is also you know a name of a Ferrari car. So it's sort of easy to remember this French uh, Guiana with, with its capital at Cain. Okay, so large country here up on the you know northeastern side of 
South America is Brazil and Brazil has its capital capital at Brasilia which is uh, you know which is pretty easy to remember Brazil and Brasilia right then below Brazil there's one country here which is uh, you know the only small this is a, almost a, you know a, a field shaped country uh, which is Uruguay right with its capital at Montevideo right and then the country uh, after uh, Uruguay the, the second largest country on this continent is a distracted in this land uh, so we have a lot of space Argentina so if you are a huge football fan you know you would be knowing the names of uh, some of these countries for sure you know which are are pretty popular uh, football uh, you know kind of football playing nations and its capital is Buenos Aires sorry this is A I R E S Buenos Aires right then you know this is a very long shape very very long you know uh, sort of coastal country on the on the western side of uh, or southwestern side of of uh, South America this is Chile this is C H I L E Chile and Chile has capital at Santiago right so you know so we have done all the the countries and capitals of South America in very little amount of time so what you all you need to remember is first there's this northern part with three really small countries right then we come to the northwestern part which has you know sort of similar shaped countries all uh, you know all all uh, facing uh, one of the oceans uh, with starting with uh, venezuela on the rightmost side going to colombia ecuador and peru two landlocked countries bolivia and paraguay the largest country on the continent brazil below brazil you have a small field shape country which is uruguay and below uruguay the second largest uh, country on the continent argentina and this really lengthy uh, you know country on the on the uh, sort of this uh, you know south western side is is uh, chile so that's all of south america and i'm quite sure you'll remember all the countries and capitals now thank you